What is up you guys? In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about Amazon product research and the top five things that you need to do when selling on Amazon. These are gonna be the most advanced tips that I can give you guys when selling on Amazon. It's gonna give you a higher chance when doing the Amazon product research and finding the right product to start selling on Amazon. So if you're new to this channel, make sure to just hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. All this channel is, is about making money online, selling on Amazon, making a full-time income from your computer. For, for an example right now, I am here in Thailand in my hotel making this video, working online, traveling, doing the things that I love to do. And I'm trying to teach you guys to do the same exact thing. So the top five things. So the first tip I want to talk about is profit margin. Profit margin is something we want to very keep a close eye on. So for example, here I have helium 10 and I recommend helium 10 if you want to get serious on selling on Amazon because it gives you all the best tools to scale your business and grow long term. If you want to get helium 10, I'm going to have a, a discount code for you in the description down below as well in the pinned comments. But what I want to show you guys is the net margin profit margin that you want to keep an eye on when selling on Amazon. So you want to make sure that profit margin is 35% later on in this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you exactly how to make sure it's 35%. But yeah, that's definitely something you really, really want to consider when finding the right product to start selling on Amazon. Why I recommend it to be 35 or higher is because it's going to give you positive cash flow into your business and it's going to help you scale your business. So after you have that first product that you're selling on Amazon, I would recommend you to launch the second one and then the third one and then keep growing it from there. You can see with the numbers I have here that I've been, I really didn't start off with a lot of money, but you can see as of last year, I've grown my business over to a million dollars in sales. And look how much it is from that previous year. It's up over 400,000 from the previous year. Absolutely insane. So when selling on Amazon, it slowly grows. So you're going to start off small. You're probably going to be making still good money. Like the first year I started selling, I was making around $300 profit every day, but now I'm averaging around $2,000 profit. But that's just because I've been reinvesting in the business and growing it over time. So the second thing I recommend you to do is to sell products that are over $15. Why is because you want to consider Amazon FBA fees and shipping fees. So when it's over 15, when it's actually under $15, you're going to have like high shipping costs. I mean, shipping costs has a minimum. So it's usually like 350 to almost $4 for shipping costs, even if the product is really small. And then you have Amazon FBA fees. So when it's a little bit higher than $15, you probably are going to get a better profit margin for the product that you're selling. So that's why I really recommend you to sell products that are over $15. The third tip that I recommend you to do is not sell anything that's big or heavy, especially if it's your first time selling on Amazon. I mean, I've been selling for about five years and I still don't sell anything that's big and heavy what i personally do is make sure all my products are under three pounds and something that's not too big that way you know shipping cost is going to be cheap from china to amazon and when a customer buys your product that shipping cost is cheap as well and yeah it's going to help you scale your business the smaller the better in my opinion especially if you're new if you're more advanced and down the line you want to get into big item big ticket sales and stuff like that it's okay, but especially in the beginning, I highly recommend you to stick with smaller items. The fourth tip that I recommend is to not sell trendy products. What I mean by trendy products, think of like fidget spinners back then. Think of um, hoverboards, uh, vape pens, even though you can't sell vape pens on Amazon. Those are like those trendy products that like got really trendy and everybody wanted them for a few. I don't recommend you to sell stuff like that because if you start selling that and then there's a bunch of sellers and then everyone's trying to liquidate the product, it's really not good. I also don't recommend you to sell electronic products because you know, everybody wants the newest thing and also clothing because you have to have a lot of variation sizes and you need a lot of capital for that. So those are the three that I really stay away from. 
something some categories that i personally like are baby products um baby products pet supplies as well and office products those three categories are really good and home and improvement office products those are really good and the fifth one that i recommend you to do is adding value to your products so when you're doing this whole amazon product research you also want to be thinking how can you be better than your competitors so there's a bunch of people selling on amazon right a ton of people so if you find the right product to start selling think of something that you can actually do to improve the product or add an additional thing to the product so you're gonna get like very um, creative with this and you're gonna be looking at the competitors listings and I would personally go to the one-star reviews look at their bad reviews see what the customers are saying get an idea of how you can actually improve the product so that when you launch the exact product you're gonna have a lot more reviews and a lot more five stars than your competitors and if you add a little bit of value to your product like if you add a little bonus or something extra people are going to choose your product over the competitors so that's a little advanced tip i want to give you guys that's really really um worth it like that's allowed me to sell full-time on amazon i literally have all my products on the first page been growing it year after year and i'm trying to help you guys out as much as possible throughout this video if you have any questions about anything like that you can always leave a comment down below i reply to all the comments i read them all also you can reach out to me on social media on my ig i'll help you guys out as much as possible so i've talked about the top five things but now i want to show you guys on the laptop exactly what i mean so the top five things you can actually filter that with this platform. So this is Helium 10 and Helium 10, I, I've used Jungle Scout, um, Helium 10 and Viral Launch. Helium 10 has the best um, accurate information for me, at least I've seen. So what you wanna do for Amazon product research is you wanna add all of the things that I'm saying into, we're gonna go to tools and click black box here and you wanna add all of those things into this. So I said earlier that I liked baby products. I'm just gonna say exactly how I said it. So um, home and kitchen, and it also said, where's pet supplies? It's somewhere here, pet supplies and office products. So we're gonna put one and one, we're gonna put price for this. I'm gonna put six, $17, let's put $17. For review count, we're gonna put something that's not so competitive. With the low review count, that's actually how you're gonna be able to you know, get into it as well. So if you have somebody that not, does not have thousands of reviews and still making a good amount of money, that just shows you that you can actually do the same exact thing. Also, for Helium 10, if you want to get this software, use the discount code down below, it's gonna give you a really good price and um it will support this channel as well and it'll give you a discount so um so shipping size like i said nothing big and large we're gonna put small and large standard we're gonna put less than three pounds fulfillment we're gonna put fba okay minimum revenue for this product that we want we want a minimum of seven thousand as our first product that's really good seven thousand you know a month from one product is amazing so um all looks good right here everything looks good and sales okay yeah let's click search so it's going to give you a list of products that have that fall under all the categories that you're looking for and also i also provide a service for you guys if you're trying to find the right product to start selling sometimes people get really stuck in this whole product research thing and i i thought maybe i could just help people out if you're interested and you want like me to find the product for you and the supplier reach out to me on my instagram um i'll show you exactly how to do it and it's a service that i provide and we can get in touch if you want to if you get a little bit overwhelmed with this, it's a, it's a service I provide as well. So, um, 
So you can just see a bunch of products here. Let's click some of them. One here. This is another one. This one's a really good one. Sure. So what we're gonna do is be clicking a bunch of them. See, these are seasonal products. Um, something like this is a seasonal product, but you can actually still make a lot of money from seasonal products if you do it right. So this product you can probably get for around, honestly, like $3 a unit, and they're selling for $33. There's a lot of profit in this. And with that, you can actually use um, Helium 10. You can see how much sales are doing on average. You can probably see in the last 90 days, they were doing really good and this is just dropping off because we're getting into summer now and it's not as cold, but there's definitely a lot of money into it. So curtains, I don't know how much they usually sell on Alibaba.com, but you can just see here how much they're making. And you can see on average around that 25 sales a day, 20, 20 to 25 sales a day for curtains. So um, this might be a good one, it might not be, but let's see, let's keep going. Okay, this is a great one that in my opinion, if it, this thing folds up and makes it a small package for you, then it's a great, it's a really good one. So let's use this one as, as an example here so you can click here and you can see how much sales are doing a day and let's go to the last 90 days and they're doing on average like 20 sales it dropped off here but it looks like it's picking back up right so in the past 30 days they sold 275 so if we click this here so with helium 10 you can also if you have google chrome you can get the extension and it's really helpful. So you can just click X-ray here and it gives you a bunch of like more information of exactly how much revenue they're generating every month. So this product is generating over $8,000 in sales every month just by selling this one product. So like I said earlier about that profit margin, how are you gonna know if you're gonna be making 35% profit margin on this or not? So what you're gonna be doing to finding that out is that this is the listing here. You're gonna go down to the ASIN. The ASIN is usually in the bottom here. You're just gonna copy this ASIN. You're gonna go on Google and put Amazon FBA calculator. And you're gonna see sellercentral.amazon.com. You're gonna click that. This is the exact straight source from Amazon. I like this calculator a lot. So. You're just going to paste the ACE in here, click search. And you can see the net margin that they're making. You want it to be 35% or more. So you want to put the product cost for this as well. So the, let's say the product cost, um, it might be three to $4. Um, let's put 380 and shipping costs might be around a dollar each. I'm thinking, cause it looks, if you're doing cargo shipment, shipping cost is a lot cheaper. So the dollar is more than reasonable because I sell products that sometimes are three pounds and my shipping cost is around on average 70 cents a unit. So the shipping costs, I'm just putting a dollar to be generous. Product costs, I think you can get these for around $4 a unit. And you would just source that on alibaba.com. Ask a bunch of suppliers that um, just search up, you know, a cat carrier, travel carrier and then just click a bunch of the suppliers see a bunch of them check ask for the uh pdf catalog and ask for the prices as well so then you can get an idea of that product cost for you so this is a good product to start selling because the net margin is above 35 percent if the product is around that four dollar range and you got the shipping cost of a dollar then you know, it's, it's good because then you're going to be making every time you sell a unit, you're going to be making $13, close to $14 a unit. So there you go. That just shows you a good product to start selling. And Helium 10 is a really good tool when it comes to 
selling on Amazon. Like they have Amazon product research and they also have Cerebro, which shows you and analyzes like keywords from the competitors, shows you how you can get on the first page of Amazon, all that good stuff. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions regarding any of this, leave a comment down below. Also hit that like button and subscribe if you're new trying to reach 10k subscribers i'm at like 5k right now really really trying to reach that 10k mark if you can support me hit that subscribe also follow me on ig if you have any questions or anything like that that's about it see you guys on the next one peace